Hey all, Brie from the No Guilt Mom podcast, and I have got a gift for you this holiday season. If you love the No Guilt Mom podcast, and I mean love the No Guilt Mom podcast, then tell us about it. Leave us a review and you can be entered to win a No Guilt Mom gift card. All you have to do is leave a review, take a screenshot, and then simply go to noguiltmom.com forward slash review to enter our giveaway for a free No Guilt Mom gift card. Simply for telling us what you think about the podcast. It is amazing. But don't delay. Get right on this as we're going to be giving away that No Guilt Mom gift card on December 21st. So get right on over and visit noguiltmom.com forward slash review. Welcome to the No Guilt Mom Podcast. I am your host, Joanne Crone, joined here by my lovely, amazing co-host, Brie Tucker. Why, hello, hello, buddy. How are you on this chilly morning? Chilly. It's chilly yes. here in Phoenix. It's chilly. It's chilly. We won't even tell you the temperature because everyone who is in <laughs> laugh the north, you're going to roll your eyes at us. <laughs> but we're coming at you with a brand new thing. We're doing a Friday fun because we just want to tell you some funny stories and we want to laugh with you and we want to show you that like our lives are complete chaos just like your lives are. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Typically chaos. Like today. So my son is homesick, Brie, as you know. He's been sick for the past two and a half days and Poor it guy. is such an issue. I know. He's like, he's in pain too but like he's been sick probably once a month uh and i'm so and he's doing fine in school and i have a great relationship with his teacher like i tell him all the time i'm like yeah he's sick again i and there's all this stuff going around but i'm so afraid the truancy officer is gonna like come to our house and be like why isn't your child in school like that's all i can picture that like i'm an unfit parent because my son is sick again well okay so it's not a completely un. Uh, you know, completely. And there, there's, there's a concern for it because you did, we both got the truancy letter. This we year both got the truancy letter here in Arizona. They send you a letter. If your child misses more than 14 days of school with, with all the illness and sickness going around, I bet a lot of people are getting that letter. Oh, you got 14. Mine was nine. My kid Not, was oh. nine class nine days and they sent, uh, sent me a letter about it. And I'm Maybe like, he had 10. COVID. You didn't yeah. allow him back for five days. <laughs> Yeah, maybe but it was like, 10. I think part of it too is just like they're all their their immune systems are coming back because we had the glorious and I hate to say it about glorious in quotes uh time where we had covid and so we weren't around anybody and our kids never got sick. They never now, got sick. They're back at school full time and they're catching freaking everything and there's yeah. just so much you can do about it. But I also argue too that the school nurse sends him home a lot. <laughs> The school, yeah, the school nurse does send my son home a lot, and I'll be, I'm like, come on, come on. But actually, this time he is sick and he's still feeling it. I think yeah. a COVID test maybe in his future. But regardless, I have a cabinet repairman coming today because of ah. something lovely that happened. Uh, I talk a lot about my dog Addie, who's like a 65 pound, just nutso Staffordshire Terrier, and uh, she has this habit of counter surfing, is what the vet calls it, where all 65 pounds of her, she jumps up on our kitchen counters when we're not looking and like looks for scraps of food, eats out of the cat food dish, which we keep up there, all of the things. And she's so smart that she knows when we're not like around and when she can get away with it. Like I've come in the kitchen and I have seen this dog on top of the counter and completely lost my mind. I'm like, what? What does she like, do when you come in like that? Does she run? She, she like slumps her head and she jumps off and she like kind of like looks all sheepish at me and she's so sorry about it. Uh, but like the other day I was in the bathroom across the house where all of a sudden I heard this bang, like huge bang. And automatically I freak out. I'm like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, hey, what did you do? What did you do? And like, and like. <laughs> You're trying to get out of the bathroom and you're like, what happened? <laughs> Tripping, pulling up your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I get out and I leave the bathroom and here she comes slinking out of the kitchen. And when she does the slink and she looks at me, I'm like, what did you do? And I come into the kitchen and I find that one of our cabinet doors is completely broken off of its hinges and there is a huge split down the middle of it, like a closed cabinet door. 
Um, and all I can think of is that she tried her counter surfing and she missed and she used her little back hind leg, which is like push off that really strong to push it off. And she pushed it off. It's, it's a uh, hinges. It's so funny. And I know you're talking <sighs> about that, the, the, uh, sl- the sulking kind of thing. It's funny because I- Remember, I went to your house the other day, and you weren't there yet. So I came yeah. in, and she greeted me at the door, just sitting there. And I'm like, "This isn't normal, Addie. Like, why is she it's just normal. like very calm? She's not wagging her tail. She's not barking. She didn't know who was going to walk through that door. No, she <laughs> and she it, and come to find out, she'd gone into your daughter's room and ate a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, she goes in there and she like eats everything. Like my daughter's like. Addie's been in my room again and she comes out and all these plastic Ziploc bags like have their bottoms torn off and everything and then like you heard this whole interaction with me and her because <laughs> my daughter's 14. <laughs> and I would have like, the same interaction in my house. I'm just going to say that right now. Go on. We've had these talks before and I'm like, so can you not keep food in your room? And the automatic response from my 14 year old, I don't keep food in my room, mom. I just had my lunch bag in there like, three weeks ago. <laughs> was three weeks ago. Ago. and i'm like I, i'm saying to myself well that's food in your room but i just kept my mouth shut and i looked at brie and i'm like and brie's like yeah. yep yep <laughs> i told miguel when i got home i was just i would type in you know, do you know how hard it was for me not to go because <laughs> 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 again having that having our daughters be such good friends and my daughter it's being like, the same age i'm like i knew that would have gotten a very pissed off response. <laughs> that, it was it was very difficult. It was very difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you yeah. had something funny happen with your mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So the other evening, well, we had to do pictures for. Uh, we were doing pictures the following day. I was going over to your house for the podcast. Oh, we won a major award. <laughs> we we're an award winning podcast. We were we award winning nominated before. Now we're award winning. Award winning. So. We won the Davy Award, the Silver Award for yes. Advice Podcast. So we're very proud right. of that. Yeah. Yes. So everybody listening, you are listening to an award winning advice podcast. I hope yes. you are enjoying <laughs> this. So anyway, we had to go get pictures and um I hadn't done my my multicoloring in a while at the bottom of my hair. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I need to do this. And I was doing it and my daughter came in my bedroom and she wanted to help me do it. I don't know why. Um, and she also had to call my mom to thank her for something. So she calls my mom, puts her on speaker. We're talking. And my mom's like, what are you guys doing? And Audrey goes, oh, I'm coloring mom's hair. Although I hate the purple. She needs to stick with the fuchsia and her teal looks like blue. (laughs) And my mom's quiet for a minute. And then she goes, wait, why, why are you coloring your mom's hair, fuchsia, purple, and teal? And I, (laughs) and I, on speaker i'm like well because i haven't done it in like you know a week or two so it's it's faded and she goes wait you color your hair and i'm like (laughs) what she's like i didn't realize you color your hair like three different colors and i'm like oh my god mom i have been doing that for like the three colors has been going on for like i don't know a good like four five months and Mm -hmm. then coloring the bottom my wedding pictures from last year i have purple hair so i mean it's been going on for a while I, I just my my husband fell over and like laughing and my daughter just stared at me and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's funny because I always call you like my purple haired co-host, my teal haired co. Like, yeah, there's there's a lot of color in there. There is. I, honestly, like I I tell my daughter half of the reason I keep putting like blonde highlights in is so I can do my bottoms these different colors and oh it, yeah, it's easier to see. Because we're in a black good. shirt today, so people can't see it. Yeah, but yeah, it's just all all fun, all, yep. all, all slightly chaos, slightly fun. I really hope my cabinet maker actually comes because it was one of those things where I set it up and then I had to like follow up again and again. I'm like, so you're still coming? And then 24 hours later, nothing will respond. I'm like, you're still coming? And then he responded last night. He's like, I can come around noon. I'm like, awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, there's okay. nothing that that drives me bigger nuts than like trying to set up an appointment and you get like dead silence from the other side. Dead silence. And it's so like, I have like, one today it's... I'm trying to do. And the person that oh. I texted has yet to text me back from three days ago <clears throat> about oh. my son. And I'm like, are we meeting? Are we oh, yeah. not? So it's crazy. Yeah. It's hard. 
<laughs> but yeah. we have we have so much coming up uh coming oh up here at no guilt mom oh my gosh we're so busy right now um because we have happy mom summit starting registration <laughs> february 6th so which is our biggest event of the year our second annual one 33 speakers so much good stuff Completely. we have I was going to say, yeah. free. it's a free, you can tell we did not record, we did not plan this. It is a free <laughs> summit. So no reason not free to summit, come. But yes. you definitely want to think about becoming a happy mom VIP because the things oh, wow. we have for VIPs, oh my goodness. And speaking of VIPs, we have our first No Guilt Mom in-person VIP retreat coming. And Cute. it's going to be here in Phoenix where if you enjoy listening to the podcast, and you want to get to know me and Brie, and you want to get coached on parenting challenges and meet some fantastic women who are going to be your new best friends, look for that. Right now, registration is only open to our Balanced VIP members, and it's filling up. It's filling up. So I'm hoping that we have some spots to um, open up to people who aren't in Balanced balance VIP. But uh, it's going to be the end of April here at the Arizona Grand Resort. We have a cocktail hour planned. You we you have can't beat a photo shoot planned. You, uh, oh my you gosh! You cannot beat being in Phoenix in April. No. It is like the best possible time, and um, I'm excited about it. Not only because we've had a lot of people asking for this in person event for us to do something, and we wanted to make sure that if we did it, it was able to give everybody the best of us. So that is why yes. it's like it's a small event. There's very limited seats for it, but it's also at a beautiful venue. And I personally love the water park. There is oh a, my water, gosh, park a park water park there at this. And yeah. it's a, I believe it's a four diamond resort. It's the only one in Arizona. Oh, we're and, going to the water park free. It's open oh, until yeah. 10 p.m. So they like when we're done on Saturday. With the bar. Yes, yeah. I am going. When we're done on Saturday, 5 p.m., <laughs> we're going. We're bringing everyone else with us. We're going to enjoy the water park as adults because that's the best thing ever when you go to a water park as just oh, adults. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's beautiful. It is wonderful. I personally like getting to have that time. I love my kids and I love my husband. I love my husband a ton. But I like getting to have that time away to kind of just sort of be me and do my thing. And I have a really hard time, you know, doing that $2 shrimp upgrade we talked about a couple couple podcasts. It's hard spending money on yourself because because this retreat, it's going to be such a special experience, such a special experience. And like I've done things like this for myself in the past and I've always like gone back and forth, back and forth because it's so hard for me to spend money on myself. And then when I decide to do it, I like hit the button and I'm like, oh, and then I get really excited. And then I go and when I'm there, it's like you forget how you are when you don't have to monitor your kids and think about if your kids are happy Everybody or else. making your family happy or making your spouse happy or partner happy. You just get to focus on you and decide like what makes you happy and what you need. And it's totally different. I think you forget what it's like to not have that mental load with you. Like that's an important thing. Like you're so used to carrying that weight that you don't even remember what it's like when it's off. I would say that was me when we went to on our girls trip. uh, We we booked a cruise to Europe, which I know sounds crazy extravagant, but I'm just going to tell you guys, we booked it like during COVID. So it was a yeah. killer deal. But <laughs> even as it was a, a little deal. bit of a crapshoot, though, when we booked it, we're like, can we do this? Is the pandemic going to be I over? Know, right? yes, it was, a, it was a, re- okay, yes. let's, let's see what happens. But yeah, yeah, like that was definitely that for me. I had a really hard time like getting around spending like, I think it was like, what was it? Um, I, I want to say it was remember. like just a thousand dollars down or something like that. Yeah. And that was so hard for me because that was a huge amount of money for me. And I and spending that on me, just me, knowing mm-hmm. I was leaving everybody at home, going to Europe, which my kids would have loved to have gone their teens. But it was amazing. It was wonderful. <laughs> it is a something that I was even scared as we went off to go do it, but it was a blast. And I would have kicked myself. For I don't know how long had I not gone, really. It was like something that I will cherish forever. Like oh, all yeah. of all of these events that I've been to, like that trip and like events I've paid to just for myself, like they are always things I remember and cherish forever because like there's nothing like being in person with people. Yeah. Um, so with the No Guilt Mom VIP retreat, there are only eight spots left. So if you're listening, 
you might want to go grab it if you're a balance member because they're going to go fast. Uh, yeah. And I can't wait to meet everybody and hang out with them and show you my margaritas. I'm going to make some margaritas. Oh, those are my favorite. Joanne gives me so those for, for Christmas and birthday presents, and they are my favorite presents in the whole wide world. She makes a killer margarita. <laughs> so we hope that you had a wonderful week, and uh, we'll see you next week here on the No Guilt Mom podcast. Brie, do we know what episode's coming up on Tuesday that they should look out for? Yes, we do. It is Kelly Smith, but now I'm forgetting what the Ooh. title is. So um, let me look Smith. that one up. Kelly is from Yoga for You, and it's all about managing your burnout by concentrating on yourself and giving yourself that res- restorative time. Yeah. And also, we talk a lot about um, how you can be happy and sad being a mom at the same yeah. The duality of parenthood, the duality of motherhood, and how, like you just said, it can just drain us. It is but, such a good yeah. episode. So oh, Kelly is also going to be at the Happy Mom Summit, too. Kelly is. So if you yes. like her episode, catch her at the Happy Mom Summit. Definitely look for that. Okay. Well, we're going to wish you a happy weekend. Or if you're listening to yep. us on the weekend, just wish you a happy, happy day. Days. Happy Best day. Mom's a happy mom. Take care of you. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Are you looking for something to listen to with your whole family? Then check out Six Minutes, produced and created by Gen Z Media. With over 200 twisty, cliffhanger-filled episodes, Six Minutes tells the story of 11-year-old Holiday who was pulled from the icy waters with no memory of who she is or where she came from. Three years ago, Brinley Pastanak helped the Anders family uncover the truth about Holiday's past. Now she'll need them to help her find the truth about hers. In Six Minutes Out of Time, the long-awaited sequel, Cyrus Anders is found unconscious near the mysterious Elixir Academy in Florida, and Brinley learns the school may have a shocking connection to her missing mother. Dive in now and get the most downloaded family audio adventure in history. Follow Six Minutes wherever you get your podcasts. You can listen early and ad-free with the GZM family subscription.